the business. Just look at the ticket. The traveling man, I'm switching the pivot. Why would I talk about it when I live it? I know that you live it. I know that you mad. Putting up numbers and flipping the digits again and again and again. Well, you get it. Elevate and enjoy the saga. Better pay, give me more than dollars. Still on the ground ahead of my time. My yesterdays are young and yonas. Trip to Hawaii to bust out the haka. I bust out the haka. I bust out the ooh. When it's nothing to do, never been capping, you know that it's true, 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 true. Haters are crying in your river like boo, 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 boo. Breaking the hearts and breaking the rules, boo, 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 boo. Ten out of ten, I'm feeling like two, 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 two. I ain't tripping, this is easy, easy. Got them excited to meet me, meet me. Being located in the music city, this building has hosted a lot of great music acts since its inception. But this is what she was made for, NFL football, and that's what we have today in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Today, Week 17 is upon us, and we've got a good one in store here, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Tennessee Titans. And a signal there for the fair catch, so this opening drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Ready. Ready. And they start things off with a carry by Gibbs here. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. You talk about this Titan defense. They interplay one from the bottom, number 31 in the league, Charles, against the run. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. He's airing it out for Williams. And incomplete on the deep ball. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Here's second and ten. They'll drop to throw. He's got his six-five receiver. That's Tim Patrick. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 37. A good pickup there. 26 yards. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. the 30 almost to the 25 nothing open downfield he keeps it himself for 11 and a first down as we both know there was a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year and part of it was what they saw in college his playmaking ability when things break down as soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two Ran a perfect up. defense First in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him up. And a big loss here as he's taken down. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Good. 
First and ten, here's Gibbs. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball and they're the ones dictating to the defense. Only able to gain a couple there. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown. Laying himself out in the end zone. And the Lions will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7 0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Now a second and 10. Levis from the gun. His throw incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Kirby Joseph. And the return will stop right around the 25. They'll come out throwing here on first down. There's Laporta. He's got it. Touchdown, Lions. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? So, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Levis. Pass incomplete. He was looking for the Michigan Wolverine down at Peoples Jones. And that'll bring up second down. You talk about this Lions defense. This unit, they're hoping to improve against the pass because right now, Charles, number 27 in the NFL. Defending the pass has not been one of their strong suits throughout the season. But if they have any hopes of making waves in January, they've got to improve in this area. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Levis back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they get him to the ground of the Lions 42. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. 
Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now this defense for the Lions, they were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them, in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think it. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. The kick by Lutz is good. Well, they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And bulldozing his way through. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. After one, a 14-3 ball game. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it second down and 11. Here we go. Back to throw here. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As his own brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. Let's go. First and goal at the six-yard line. Hey, check, Run the ball. They'll run with Gibbs. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Well, they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards against us. No way we need to take that one. Right, right. 
Now back to the ground. Here's Gibbs. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and goal. They'll try and sneak it here. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop it right where it all started. Only a few inches needed on the sneak. He didn't get it. And now it's fourth down. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And his kick is right there. It's good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? The Titans offense set to begin the drive as we grind toward the end of the season here and they haven't had the season that they had hoped so let me ask you to play gm where might they look to make some changes i think when you look into the upcoming draft think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen they've got to get stouter up front and as a gm it always tells me charles this is a big boy league and big people always end up winning games for you the second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the cornerback's hand, and it's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. And this is going to be dropped. Oh, my gracious. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Oh, heavy line pressure here, and they block it. And that pressure there came from his left side. Maybe he could have sped up the release, but he couldn't get it off in time. And truthfully, the speed should be consistent each and every time. It should be quick mechanics. The best punters are the ones who can catch it one step and get rid of the football. Those are the ones you want. Anything more than one step in you. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Jameer Gibbs with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Lions take the block punt and convert it into six points. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Play action now. Levis. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. The Titans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be a tough third and 18. And he is caught. And they work this out past the 25. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Levis sets up the throw here. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Levis to throw it. 
Over the middle, he has a Conquo. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A well executed 22 yard gain. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Levis looking to throw. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Levis. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now Lutz for the field goal try. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. The kick by Lutz is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Ready, At the ready. 23, it's second and 12. Ready. Back to throw. Ready. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap. But it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 66 yards rushing for him here as he starts to close in now on 1,200 yards for the season. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On second down, here's Gibbs. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Now back to throw. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. A six-yard pickup. Brings up second and four. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. 
The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Levis on third down. Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Aiden Hutchinson able to record his fifth sack of the season. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. And remember, he had his first punt blocked. Returnable here from the 38. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, here's your bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. Now second and three. Off the play fake, Levis. He's got a rifle one deep left side. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Titans. Josh Wiley, his first touchdown of the year. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. Lutz with the extra point. And that makes it 24 13. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead. It's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he is going to have a Lions first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and three. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And yeah, he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end, and that play going nowhere. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. But not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Still going. Missed. Missed. He will not go down. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. Come on, set. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down.
it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. Yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now it's the backup golf. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Goff now looks to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. That's good for a Tennessee Titan. A first down carry for Henry. And a pretty good burst there as he went as a cross move field and down to the 46. Another nice game, 13 yards that time and another first down. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. Now Levis. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realize he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Got his man, a conquero. And it's going to be another first down as they get him in a great at the Lions 27 yards. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second down and six now. Levis to throw off play action. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Henry up the middle. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Back to throw, it's Levis. 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Oh, boy, Derrick Henry shaking up after that last play and in some discomfort down there. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Levis will try to throw for the two. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation. This time, unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at one. I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. To throw on second down is gone. He'll get this one to Patrick. And nothing after the catch here as he's dropped right on the spot at the 47, but in plus territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. How about that, partner? That happened in a hurry. Sudden, explosive, gets into the backfield and spills the play. And he was AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week because of plays just like that. They begin with Henry. To the 43, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, here's Levis. That's complete to Peoples Jones. And he's brought down. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. First and 10, it's Levis. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 35. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Here's Levis. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Inside handoff, Henry. Taken down on the play by Aiden Hutchinson. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Levis sets up to throw here. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try to knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. 
Desperation time now. Here's Levis. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first down, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback leaning down at the end, and you still have the lead. Another incompletion would certainly be ideal defensively. A big play now. This is third and ten. Here is a fail to connect on third. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. For their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. Levis. Over the middle, he has a control. Now he takes this one down on his good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And a run on the inside handoff. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Levis out of the shotgun now. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. A big play here, third and two. Levis back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Levi Onwazurike in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Levis. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, but they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Well, it springs free. Montgomery loses it. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. Turnover. Here's Levis. Flush to his right. 
And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. You're not going to get many better opportunities than that to take the lead in the fourth quarter. He's got a man wide open. But oh my goodness, just too much air under the ball. And he knew it right away. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Harder, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what hasn't. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. That's to his running back complete. And he will be out of bounds, well shy of the marker. So that's a turnover on downs. Great job defensively. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep. They'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions, and it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half, but their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home.